Knights. The 3rd Armored Cavalry Regiment and the 3rd Division of the Iraqi Army have been working to rid Talafar of terrorists. Six guys, go! One, two, three, four, five, six! Stop! They searched the streets for IED makers, armed thugs, and snipers. Shoot. On August 31st, while on a cordon in search, an AIF sniper opened fire on an overwatch position, killing three Iraqi soldiers. Later, soldiers from 3rd Division spotted a sniper on a roof. IA soldiers are going to engage sniper. Roger, engage sniper. After engaging the sniper, the soldiers continued their mission. They searched a few more houses, then loaded their Bradleys to transport detainees. While en route to the detention facility, an IED hit one of the Bradleys. As soldiers tried to help the casualties, a second IED, or possibly a mortar round, hit more soldiers. After evacuating the casualties and dropping off the detainees, the coalition forces continued the hunt for anti-Iraqi forces. Quick intelligence led soldiers to the possible IED trigger map. U.S. and Iraqi forces have suffered losses in the fierce fight for Talafar's freedom, but they still have not wavered in their resolve to stop the terrorists. This tenacity would pay off during the next phase of Operation Restoring Rights. Reporting for the 366th MPAD in Talafar, Iraq, I'm Army Sergeant Wes Kaplan.